Welcome back everybody to Farming Similar 19 here on Go Crest Valley 19. It's your host with not the most, Mr. Blue, aka Tommy Miller. Folks, this is what we got done so far. I got two two of these stacked up. Well one one stack, one on the trailer. Uh we're probably gonna send them across the road and put them in storage. Let's run on down to the combine. Look at all those bells out there. That's one, two. Every lane of, of bells that's laid down is a round in the combine. So I picked up uh, two rounds. It's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, about thirteen. About 15 rounds on the combine so far, folks. Yes. I'm going to pull over right here for right now. I don't think we'll get this far today. Um, I'm going to put this on. I was doing some screenshots, so. Uh, there we go. Uh, that $405,000 we had, well, it, it kind of went down to $74,000. Uh, I better shut this off. Uh, Colin, Julian, Mr. Yankee, Ice, Damon, uh, No Star Reviews, uh, Bo, Boo Jr., Boo, Betsy, uh, Zach, Jordan, Elsie. We had everybody out this morning about 6 o'clock. They come over, they serviced the truck, greased it. Well, not, not a complete service, but you know, just greasing it and making sure the tires are up. They went all the way around on everything. And, uh, yeah, so we're good to go. And it's 8 o'clock in the morning. There's my phone going off. Uh, let's get this fired up and get somebody working on it. I got that much right there to cut, and we also have... Ooh, that is... I just noticed that in the last video. It was kind of loud. I need it. None of the rest of the video. Um, and, uh, equipment's that loud. So. Anyway, we're just gonna, real quick, get a worker. There we go. Help her baby. Uh, let's just gonna say Boo Jr.'s driving that. And, uh, Boo's probably be raking. I don't know who's going to be on the grain cart and truck yet. But, uh, let's see here. I'm going to ride my drone up to the top of the mountain and show y'all what I got. And you hear some noise in the background. That's my son and daughter. My daughter's on her phone. My son's playing Xbox. But, uh, this right here, folks, I got another full load of logs to sell. That is almost ready to fall off. But uh, while the combine's going, I'm going to be doing some of this, getting it unloaded. And um, we also got to do some mowing today. Uh, pretty quick this morning because we want it to be drying out. So I'm going to hurry up and get this unloaded. And I'll meet you back at the mower or the combine. So I'll be back in a second. Still going. All right, we got the front full, and we're working on the back. Picking up the bells as we go. Won't be too much longer. Down by down there waiting. I think this load's going to fill it where it looks. We might be in trouble, y'all. Yeah. Might get like two and a half semis out of this. Oh, that would be awesome. Now, is the price still the same as yesterday, y'all? Um, 1072. Actually, I think that's a little bit higher, isn't it? I thought it was 10, like 10. 
I don't know. That might be what it was yesterday. I can't remember. Y'all, y'all have to go back and look yesterday and see. Oh, uh, we didn't fill it, up, but we got close. So we're gonna keep going. Whoa! Caught me on a bad side. Thought I'd let myself enough room to swing and turn around there, but I guess I did. Combines a horse in the way. Uh oh, My tires up on that one side there. Oh, oh. Gotta find a sweet spot. There we go. Or was. Come on. Where's your sweet spot? There we go. All right. I got some good news and I got some bad news. Good news is the truck's full. Bad news is this is all we got left. So we might just end up keeping some of this. Uh, just use this first for the chickens or something. I, I swear it's getting harder and harder to find that sweet spot. Back up, see if I can get another, another go at it. Now, come on. On the corner? Nowhere? Oh. Alright, folks, I'm going to have to find the sweet spot. And I'll be right back, I guess. Found it! Alright, folks, I don't know how much we got yesterday. I think 155,000 liters. Well, we got 16,814 and a buggy. Well, it's probably just going to go to the chickens somehow. And we got 120,000 in the semi truck. Should be. We got to put this under cover because this don't have a tarp for it. Oh, my tractor's so dirty. Got to get it washed. Let's check the truck out and see how much it's got in it. It should be full. Yep, it's uh, 120,000 liters, which is 3,405.4 bushels. But uh, we're going to take us to the, I think, Mary's Farm. I'm on. It looks like at Mary's Farms there are 1072, and that's the highest. So that's where we're going. Meet y'all up there. Alright, we just rode the tarp back and we're fixing to go back up on the scale again. I don't like the, or not scale, but dump area. Ooh, they would have to dump the area right there. I thought I smelled something last time. I wasn't even paying no attention to that. Oh, well, that's Mary's farm for you. She, uh, builds her manure. I don't know where she uses the wheat for it. But we are uh, unloading, so we're going to see what we get on this. Now, I thought I was on the back there. I mean, I <laughs> thought I was on the front hopper. Back's unloading. Alright, there's one. We're going to switch to uh, the front and start unloading. Alright. She was almost empty. Come on. We're up to about 190, hopefully. 188,929. 18,273. All right. I could go get the rest of that and sell it, but it, it's not that much, so we're not going to worry about it. 
The only thing I have about coming down here is so hard to turn around. Got back up in that little area right there. What, y'all want to see that? Well, let's try it. It's going to be painful. Run right, right over somewhere wheat or whatever that is. Might get me. That wasn't too bad. All right, well, I'll see you back at the farm shop. As you've seen by the thumbnail, you know, probably warn where it's at. I already bought it, so we want to go look at it. Yeah. So, see you out on a second. All right, folks, this is it. The 62 uh, 6250R John Deere 6 Series. And uh, we got a hardy front tank for it. This sucker looks sharp, too. Uh, and then we got a new sprayer. That's a hardy sprayer, Mega. 22. It's actually a 44. We had the increase. And check out these blue tips on here. Well, blue and pink. I like them. Oh, there's a black. Oh, blue, pink, and black tips. Cool. I wish they would take the uh, sprayer add-on mod from 17 and insert it into these sprayers where it would be for every sprayer. And what it does is about right in here, it would shut that portion off or right in here in the middle, it would shut the whole right wing off or you can shut the left wing off. Or, you can have that portion from up to here on, all this over to here off, and this wing on. You could turn on different, it'd be like four different portions. So, yeah. Well, let's uh, get in this baby and start it up. We got some weeds to spray. All right. Yep, that's uh, the liquid. Uh oh. It's liquid fertilizer. Hmm. That's what was setting up at the farm shop. I mean, uh, at the market shop. I'm going to fold up and go switch this out. Right, I caught it. Alright, let me go switch this out to Herbicide, and I will be right back, folks. Sorry about that. Alright, I thought we had herbicide, but that's fertilizer. The only herbicide we have is this in here, and it's not going to have that much in it. I know it's not. So, we're going to spray what we can on. And uh, I'm going to get this filled up, and I'll meet y'all back out the field. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and start right here instead of the other field. We just got to spray this one side here. And here we go. And it sprays up about 21 miles per hour. It's got the super pump on it, by the way. So, I, I think that's really too fast. So, we'll probably set it for about 18 somewhere on in there. Alright. Let's see. No train coming. Oh, don't try this at home, folks. Please don't try this at home. I ain't supposed to be doing that in real life either. Oh, I'm back. Alright. Well, we got some on this corner, some on the 23. And then in the middle of 23 and some around 22 there. And then 14 needs it real bad. I'm not going to worry about 16 right now. But 14 really needs it. So, uh, But this is the Hardy Interactive Sprayer from uh, the Farming Simulator Mod Hub. Off the main site. So it should work pretty good. Now the front sprayer ain't. I mean the. Front tank ain't. And the car's coming. Oh, I'm gonna fold up, get around these signs. And unfold. 
And like I said, right here, all we need. Oh, I missed a spot over. Is this corner here, so. But I'm pretty sure we probably could spray the whole field. And we'd probably be alright, so. I might do that. Let's get GPS turned on. Um, actually, it should be already set. We just have to line it up. We might do that. Just spray this whole field that we won't have to worry about no more. Or at least that's where it's supposed to be. And we got to get over a little bit. About right there. And all right. I'm going to do a little speedy of this and uh, see you when I get done. All right, everybody. What do you think about that? Now, you see when it's light color, then it's dark behind. That's how you tell your herbicide's doing. And plus, you can see the weeds turn. But, like, this color here, you can actually hire a worker, and it will work on that. But if it's a wet-looking color, it won't. I kind of like this thing done 21. You know, it's putting out enough liquid to cover a good rate, so you might just leave it that way. But, folks, I'm going to probably wrap it up here because we got field 14 to do and the rest of this field to do, and we need to get mowing too. So, I'm going to finish the rest of this off screen. And in the next episode, it'll still be to this day in game, but uh, we're going to be doing some mowing. Uh, we get over here on field 11, around it and stuff, and we got to harvest that field too for him. And, um, yep, yeah, all the crops is ours, and all the grass is ours. Um for doing the tree work and stuff on it so we won't get a full pay out of that but we will get some pay for the wood just uh, you know we'll get what it makes so that'd be one benefit and plus we'll get the crop and grass off of it and hopefully we can turn it to hay because that's what we need but anyway, I appreciate y'all coming out, watching, or, or sitting down and watching this, or, or whatever how you're watching it. I appreciate it. And I appreciate all the comments, love, and support. Folks are a blessing to me. I just want to say thank you. I can't say that enough, so thank you, thank you. Till next time, oh, y'all have a great day, a blessed day, and I will see you in the next episode. Later, folks.